Just got a few bananas, some peanuts, a loaf of wheat bread, and watermelon for a trip to Cebu City. Probably three and a half dollars total. What up guys, welcome back to Mobile Cebu, Philippines. We're here at the bus stop, and we are headed up to Cebu City today, and then we are headed over to Bohol Island, where we're gonna be for the next few days, exploring around. The more I look into Bohol, the more excited I am to go. But uh, yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is take a bus to Cebu City, and then we're gonna take a motorbike to motorbike. the pier, and then we take a ferry to Bohol. And just like that, we are here. All right, I really wanted to do that rejump from one scene to the next, but there's a couple cool things that happened while we were traveling, so let me show you those quick. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's part of me now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great day. Good luck. Goodbye. We're just arriving at Pier Terminal One to take a ferry from Cebu City down to, over to Bohol. Bohol! Holy crap, guys! We're like last minute. Two, two more, two more. No, we're Holy shit. They're just closing the ferry. We got here last minute. And that is because we took bikes. Take a bike if you're in a hurry. Ah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. bus and the ferry and the bike ride pretty painless right okay so after we were in Bali for a while we realized the best thing we could have done is rent a motorbike near the airport and it's kind of the same exact scenario here because we're gonna need to come back to the pier to leave so we're gonna look for a motorbike to rent from here for the next couple days <laughs> and then try to figure out if we can extend that for an extra day if we decide to stay for a third day as well. But then we can ride all the way back to the pier and then return our motorbike, rather than paying a taxi driver twice, once to get down to Alona Beach where we're staying, and once to get back to the pier, which is probably like, I don't know, 20 bucks each way. Okay, the motorbike plan failed. Apparently there's nowhere to rent a motorbike around here, at least that's what they said but we're getting a ride for 150 per person. We're grouping up with a few other people. So three bucks a piece to get over to Alona Beach, which is a 40 minute drive. Thank you. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Kim. Kim Jordan, nice yeah, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And uh, the icon is operated manual. Oh, yes. Yeah. And this one. Essential information. Yeah, uh, this one for the right. keyboard and this one for the TV. Right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your stay. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh yeah, guys. Cotton towels. No microfiber towels for this day. You know, it would make it like, look like three times better. If there was something on the floor? Yeah. I thought the same thing. All right, bed test. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? It's not that bad. Isn't it? It's just kind of thin. Similar to the hostel we were just at, Smooth Cafe. <sighs> I'll be good with this. In the bathroom, sink. Got a mirror, very nice. Toilet here. And shower and hot water. Amazing. So we're settled in at our Airbnb. We're headed out to grab some supper now. There's actually two restaurants nearby that have almost nearly full vegan menus. I love eating healthy food, so to have the options to go get some really healthy dishes while traveling like this, like it makes me so happy. So we're headed over to one of those restaurants. It's called Shaka. It's just up the road, five minutes from our place. We're right next to Alona Beach here. Alona Beach is like right behind this area here and yeah this is like the main road uh, on this part of the island here i think the island's called like pan pan panjao i don't know i'll have to put it on the screen here but yeah let's get some food i'm blown away guys we just got twenty thousand pesos out of the atm here which I read everywhere online, like the max you can get is 10,000 besides at Citibank ATMs and HSBC. And we just got 20. I'm super stoked because that saves on fees big time. Because you get fees from the ATM and you get fees from your bank back home. Flower, you did awesome. Thank you. You figured it all out. That's my girl. <laughs> So we're in this little corner store and they've got Tang packets. These are from like the late 90s. This is actually a really great store. They've got like canned whole natural beans, whole wheat fiber bread. Lots of really good choices here. But I think the Tang might top it all. All right guys, that's pretty much it for today. I'm just heading now over to the pool to take a quick dip. Felt the water on the way back in and it's like not too cold but like really refreshing feeling. And I'm pretty sticky after traveling for eight hours today. Laura pointed out that we used five different modes of transportation and they were all different on the way here, which is pretty funny. But uh, yeah, super excited to be in Bohol. Tomorrow, I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna get up to because the island's a lot bigger than I anticipated, than I thought originally. So the Chocolate Hills is actually farther away than I realized. So we, uh, I guess we'll see. We're gonna explore Bullhole tomorrow. And for now, I'm gonna take a dip in that pool. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the travel vlog today. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace, Pikeys. You. <laughs> Don't wet my hair. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow.